Hey guys and Happy Christmas, New Year! These videos are going up a little bit late. I know everyone's done their kind of like Christmassy videos and like gifting videos and what I got for Christmas, but I've been quite ill lately, so I haven't actually been able to film. So now that I'm feeling better, I can actually film some videos. So I have like two, three kind of like haul-y type videos, what I had to do with like the holidays. So people might be a bit over it by the time that I put it up, but hopefully I'm gonna do it in a way so that it's not like overly festive, so you're not like, I don't even want Christmas videos anymore. So I hope everyone had a really nice time over like the holiday period and they're looking forward to New Year or they've had a good New Year because I'll probably edit this after New Year's Day because I'm working tomorrow. I'm really excited to start my new year and go on a new journey. Journey. I've had a lot of changes in 2018 and 2019 I think is going to be quite a big year for kind of adulting for me. So anyway I'll stop chattering on but this video is going to be a Harry Potter gifting kind of haul thing. So it's kind of like a, what I got for Christmas but it's all the gifts I got which are Harry Potter related. And I thought I could do it because it's still good for like birthdays or if they're in the sales and you're interested in them you can pick them up. So as it's the new year I shall start with my Harry Potter calendar. I actually did one of these videos of my Harry Potter stuff I got for Christmas last year. I'll link that down below in case you wanted to take a look at it. And I got a Harry Potter calendar last year from my mum. This year I actually got it from my brother and I was really hoping someone would buy me a calendar. I had a similar one last year. It was a really good calendar. I was so happy with it. I did actually want to get like the Fantastic Beasts one but I'm really happy with the Harry Potter one because it is kind of the one I'm more into than Fantastic Beasts and it is a 2019 calendar. So on the back it's basically just different pictures of the characters from the film. So each month that has a different character and they do repeat themselves so you have have like different types of Hermione Granger and I'm very happy that December we have Ron Reasley because on my Harry Potter calendar I have currently it's um it was Voldemort for December and I was like it's not very Christmassy really. So I really like Ron, so I'm happy about that. So I'm quite excited that we have Sirius Black for January because he's one of my favorite characters. I'm gonna look at February because it's my birthday month. And we have Harry Potter. I was hoping for Luna because she's one of my favorite characters, but I have Harry. So the pictures are really nice. It's not too kind of like graphic kind of thing. It's like not very colorful. It's more just, I don't know what the word is, monochrome? I think that's the kind of thing I was going for. Kind of like a dark arts kind of theme and what I like about this one is that it actually does have a note section at the top and at the bottom because I do keep my calendars and write a lot of things on them so I can look back and remember what I did in that year. So if you are interested in buying a new calendar for this year they do sell them in the works I believe. I'm just so excited to start the new year with another Harry Potter calendar. So the next item is this pin. I got this from my friend Dennis. He kindly bought me a Christmas present and I panicked because I hadn't got anyone anything and I was just like ah I need to get you a present. So he's very sweet and got me this Harry Potter pin. It is just Harry Potter on a broomstick. It's the kind of like chibi design so it's just a enamel pin badge. I think they do sell these in Debenhams in case you wanted to get some and they'll probably have the sales on now. So I got this Harry Potter canvas bag from my mum. I think they do these in Poundland and it just says Hogwarts on. I love getting tote bags because I have so many bags I just stick them in and I don't use carrier bags or anything so these are really handy and this is quite a nice small size it's not overly big so that is very cute. I then also got from my mum these Harry Potter shoes these are from Primark and they've been in the store for quite a while my friend had them as work shoes and I was just like I really want them but I'm not gonna buy them because I really don't need any more shoes to be honest. But I just really love these. They're little kind of like plimsoll ones. They say Hogwarts on the back there and on the front they have in rose gold just the Hogwarts crest. So they're not too obvious Harry Potter ones and they're really like comfy. She said that I could have these for just like walking about the house with but I probably will do it for like when I nip to the shops and just day to day comfy ones. I might use them at work as well because they look quite comfy and they're kind of 
of black, not too Harry Potter-esque. So I really like these. I don't know if they do them in Primark still. My mum also got me this Harry Potter notebook and it says, just because you're allowed to use magic now does not mean you have to whip your wands out for everything, which is a Molly Weasley saying. And it's very nice. I think you can get these from the works as well. Inside it just says Harry Potter on the paper and it's aligned and it has a little detailing there. And I love notebooks. I'm gonna be using a lot of stationery this year because I'm really gonna be writing a lot of things down and trying to be organized. So I have a lot of stationery at the minute. So whenever I do get kind of like notebooky things, I'm quite happy because I use them a lot and it makes you want to use them more if they're things you like. So this is really nice. Another one from my mum is these coasters. So these are from Primark and they are house coasters. So you've got Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff and I think they're just like the kind of woodeny type ones. And these are actually really useful because if you can see my background, I have a really nice kind of like bedside table and it's kind of Japanese style and it was quite expensive-ish um, from HomeSense. And the top, I always have like teas and like drinks on it and it does get like water stains. So I keep these in the little drawer at the top and whenever I have a drink, I get them out and I can have my uh, drinks on them. So it stops it getting damaged. So this is actually super useful and it's cute because it is Harry Potter themed. I think my favorite one is probably the Ravenclaw one because the little birdie looks sweet. They're kind of like a chibi style of the house crest. So these are the last of the kind of smaller items. These are both from Primark and they are some key rings. So we have the Honey Dukes key ring there and we have a Slytherin one. I haven't got this one. Like I saw it ages ago and I was just like, I have so many key rings. I'm not going to get any more. And I think you can probably get them on sale in Primark now if you have a look because they're kind of getting rid of the old Harry Potter stock. But I'm so happy she gave me these. I especially love the Honey Dukes one. So I can put these on my like bags or I decorate my room with them. So this was a present from my brother and it is Harry Potter pajamas. These are actually from George, I think. I think they're from Georgia Asda. They're not Primark ones, which is really interesting that Harry Potter's kind of branching out to everywhere now, which is really great. So these are just some nice pajamas. What I decorated really nice for Christmas as well in this really pretty packaging. And on the back, it just has these really soft leggings. They're like, honestly, gonna be such cozy pajamas, but really soft leggings with just stars on. So it's not overly Harry Potter style, but the front is. <laughs> it has the Hogwarts crest in gold and it's in a really pretty burgundy color. And these you can actually reuse because they're on elastic. So you can use them to decorate other things or if you wanna do gifting next year. So thank you so much for these pajamas. They look so cozy. So now we're gonna have a little bit of a book marathon. I really love getting books for Christmas, especially the Harry Potter books because they're so beautiful. This one is actually Fantastic Beasts. I'm so happy to have because I don't actually own that many Fantastic Beasts things. I do have my Fantastic Beasts t-shirt on today, but I mainly have Harry Potter things. So this is the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them character guide. These books are always done really nicely and this is basically a character guide on all of the characters in the film and just like what they wear, their wand and just a little bit about them. So it's quite interesting because you can actually read up on the characters a bit more. It's kind of an overview of everyone what is in the film. So thank you very much to my mum because this is going to be a really nice read. I'm hoping when I have my own place I can have a coffee table and I can have these like really beautiful books on it. So if I have people around they can kind of like flick through. So I was very excited when I saw that my mum had got me this because I saw it on Instagram and somebody had kind of like laid it all out and I was just like that looks incredible. I want to buy it but I'm not going to. They had it in Asda so they were reduced in Asda I think compared to what they usually are. This must have been £50 originally and I think they must have been selling it for about 20 because I was eyeing it up and I was like mm, do you know who would really like that? me <laughs> but I was just good I was like no and then I thought maybe people might get the hint that I, I like this kind of stuff and I might end up getting it for Christmas because my mum usually does get me books so I waited and it's a good thing that I did <laughs> so this is really beautiful it has such nice illustrations on the outside and on the back and it is held together with a magnetic clip there so if you haven't guessed already it is a pop-up book so it is a pop-up guide to Hogwarts it has a little bit of an instruction 
instruction on the leaflet here and it shows you what it looks like when it all opens out. I might do a little clip where I open it out and I film it so you can see actually what it looks like but you do kind of like open it up and it has all this paper in and you fold it out and it's basically like a mini tour of Hogwarts like when you go to the Warner Brothers studio it's like that but in paper version. It must have taken ages to make because honestly it is so beautiful so detailed it has lots of different other pop-ups what you can like fold and unfold and honestly it's something what's gonna make some really beautiful pictures and I can't wait to kind of like play around with it and be a bit of a child. <laughs> so this is the last book item and it is really heavy and I actually got bought this twice. This I got from my mum and I was actually saying to her that this is originally £50 I think? Yeah £50 and I was going to buy it for myself last year when it was on sale for £30 and it all sold out at the work and then they had an Asda for £20 and I really wanted to get it but because money has been a bit tight this year I was like no I won't get it I'll wait till after Christmas but luckily my mum got it before I even mentioned it to her because apparently I said to her about it and she was like I really hope she hasn't bought that because I've already got her it for Christmas. And because I used to go to the shop with Nick a lot in Asda and I up and always like pick it up and be like I want this, he wasn't too sure if anyone else was going to get me it for Christmas and I wasn't buying it for myself so he got me it too unfortunately. So I have two of them which is great but I think that I am actually selling my one so I'm selling up the one which I haven't opened up yet and I'm going to keep this one because I don't really actually need two. And they're very heavy. Heavy. Honestly, when I picked this up, I was like, I knew what it was straight away because when I picked it up in Asda, I was like, blooming hell, that's heavy. But it is The Art of Harry Potter and it's going to be such a nice read. Well, it's not really a read, but a look through. It has a nice little design on the back as well. So I might have to do some close ups of this because it's very hard to show you the pictures and hold it up. I'll do a brief little one now. It has all these pictures in it from the design concepts of the films. So it has things like all the ideas for the shops, the characters, all the kind of scenes where it's like the Dursleys and Tonks and underwater. Basically from every film, all of the costumes, all of the kind of like little scenes in them, all of the branding for things like Honeydew, even the keys which are going to be like the flying keys in the room and honestly every detail in there food and drink everything so it is such a beautiful book it's going to be a very long kind of flick through if you're going to go through every page and it's just something really nice to have i really admire the design concepts and the artwork behind the films and i think it's just beautiful so i'm so happy that i got this even if i got it twice i'm really happy i got it okay so that is all of the ones i got gifted to me for christmas so i have two items now to show you which i got in the January sales and I thought I might as well add it into this kind of like Harry Potter gift video. So if anyone's been in to Debenhams this year you'll notice that everyone's gone Harry Potter mad. I don't know if it's because Fantastic Beasts has come out so it's kind of like reignited the love for the wizarding world um, but it's really like been present in the last like year and a bit and Debenhams had a lot and it was kind of all sold out. So there wasn't that much there when I tried to go with the sales with my mum but I did get these two cups. So I got two drinking glasses. They were originally £8 each and they were half priced down to £4. So this one is the Deathly Hallows mug and this is what it looks like and it doesn't really pick up on camera very well but this is really holographic. So the Deathly Hallows sign is holographic and the inside is actually holographic as well. I didn't notice that and the rest of it is just black. So it's really nice little tumbler. I can't wait for when I move out and I collect all these kind of things for when I have friends over what well, hopefully like Harry Potter and then this one which was also four pounds is a water glass with the Marauders map on it it does look a bit better in the pictures than in real life because I did open them up and see if they were kind of like cracked or anything so this is it out of the box I thought this was gonna be a bit better but I bought it anyway because I did really like it because I have two I have two Harry Potter glasses instead of just one because I do have some uh, DC ones that have like poison ivy and Harley Quinn in. So I 
thought I'd get two Harry Potter ones. So it has the Marauders map. I just wish this square was actually like more so it went around the sides or it stopped near the writing on the back. However, it is really cute. I still like it. So on the back it does say, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good with the footprints on. And you can see your drink in it. So that's a bit more interesting around the back, but really nice. So if you do go into Debenhams at the minute, they do have some stuff or you go on the website. I can link it down below. They do have a lot of Harry Potter stuff on sale. I really wanted to go to Sainsbury's because they had like the monster book of monsters, like notebook and some really nice like quills and everything. And it was all like 50%, 70% off. I went there, gone. There was not one single Harry Potter item to be seen and I couldn't find really anything on the website so I was so gutted. However, I got some amazing things. I'm trying to cut down on how much I collect because I have a lot of stuff I have realised over the years of collecting things and I only have like my room and my filming room to kind of store stuff in so I need to kind of cut back. But I really hope you like seeing everything that I got for Christmas and some Harry Potter things what you might be interested in and now can get in the sale so you can get it a bit cheaper. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone what got me everything today and I just want to say a big thank you to all my family and friends that got me things. They know exactly how much I like Harry Potter and I'm so easy to buy for apparently is what everyone keeps saying because they just look at my Instagram feed and they're like yep what hasn't she got is the question. <laughs> so I'll link down my social media down below because I do take pictures of all these things and put them on my Instagram so you can have closer looks at stuff. That's what I usually do if I want to buy something. I will look on Instagram to see if anyone's posted pictures of it and then I'll know if I kind of want to get it and hopefully you just like this little video. So I hope everyone's had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year and I'm very excited to do some new content in 2019. So have a magical day guys. See you later.